far side from China. And she will be ably assisted by Kevin Lenton of Australia on the near side. So those are the officials. Let's introduce you now to the two players from the United States of America wearing the blue tops, wearing number one is Summer Ross. Ross and her partner Sarah Hughes have been together since April 2013, but Ross at one meter 88 centimeters or six foot one if you prefer in her 76th tournament with three career wins to her name. And Sarah Hughes wearing blue number two. At one meter 80 or five foot 10. Number three C's. Now let's turn our attention to the team in yellow, the number four seeds from Canada. And wearing number one for them. At one meter 96. It is Sarah Pavan. Six foot five, if you prefer that unit of measurement. And her partner wearing number two, one of the best backcourt defenders going. Melissa Humana Paredes. So these two would have been very disappointed. In fact, all four of them would have been disappointed to have lost their semi final match. Humana Paredes with ball in hand. Hughes immediately coming up with the first kill. Good get and good improvisation from Ross going over on second ball. So Pavan, selling at one two, and goes long. Oh, the net court is well dug by Amanda Paredes as she goes on the roll. These two have met once before on the world tour in the Xiamen four star in China back in uh, April. Canadians coming through in three sets. They lost the first set on that occasion to Pavan and Himana Paredes. Lost it 22 20, but came back to win the next two 21. 19, 16, 14, so a really close contest. Can Charmen in uh, April? Hughes just uh, 
Coming into a bit of trouble trying to set that ball. Coming close to the advertising hoardings. A little unlucky, but it's good work from Summer to make it 6-3. Just wide of the target, and they're back to within a point now. Oh, that's a good leave from Summer. Just floating long. That is good work from Imana Paredes. Still alive. No. Not anymore as Canada level it up. Just before the second side switch. Into the net cord and out. The Americans just questioning whether or not it touched the pub and block, but Canada in front. In real time, it seemed to come off the net cord. Good dig from Hughes. Mana Paredes rolls it. And over the summer block. And the Canadians now lead 9 7. Nice little pokey. Gets the American scoreboard ticking once again. They were 7 5 up. Good blocking from Pavan. Monster block from Sarah Pavan. No stranger to the sport here in China. She played indoor for a couple of seasons for a club in Shanghai, which is, what, 160 miles or so to the uh, southeast of uh, Yangzhou. Good power from Pavan once again. The world ranked number six side, Canada, have found their groove here. Last point before the technical timeout goes the way of the USA. And we head to the technical timeout with the Canadians in front by three. 12 9 they lead in what has been uh, an absorbing first part 
of this bronze medal match. And the technical time out. The Canadians hadn't lost a set until their semi final yesterday evening. They lost the first set, 19 21. They took the second set on their sixth set point, 27 25. They saved match point incidentally against Kleiman and Ross in that contest but in the end succumbed in the third 15-11 but they had a poor start to the third set and could never really recover from that the Americans lost their second match of the tournament against Anna Patricia and Rebecca in the semi-final having lost once in pool play pool C Cross-court cut is good, and the lead is four. And Summer Ross just getting her cut shot all wrong, and this is a healthy lead at the business end of set one. Yeah, nicely done. Summer Ross improvising to take advantage of the fact that Ivana Paredes is uh, out of position. A call from Summer Ross. Yeah, nice skill from Nana Paredes. Just gets the cut shot a little wrong. Down the middle goes the spike. And they're back to within three. For Canada, just require side outs to take this one. You said then done. Too much height on that roll shot. A touch on the net from Pavan makes it a two-point game. And a timeout calls by Canada. They just try and re-establish some control on this first set. They led 17-12, now 17-15.
Canadian pair looking to win Canada's 21st medal on the FIVB Beach Volleyball World to of the previous 20. And they are responsible for six. So should they win a seventh medal, they'll be responsible for a third of all Canada's medals. The FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour, they are the model of consistency. Their 20th event together on the World Tour. And this is their 11th top four finish. Five times they've contested a gold medal match. They've won three of those five. Five times before today they've consisted, contested sorry, a bronze medal match. They've only won one of those five. History would relate, therefore, that they find it hard to pick themselves up after the disappointment of losing at the semi-final. So perhaps this first set key to their chances of success in this bronze medal match. That's a nice kill from Summer Ross. So two points away from the first set now. Ivana Paredes and Pavam. Oh, the ace serve right down the middle. Brings about four set points. So Summer to keep this one alive, and it's just long, and it is Canada that take the first set by 21 points to 16, and a good start for the Canadians. It's now down to the Americans to try and pull themselves together in this break between the two sets, good lead by Humana Paredes. Americans have been together since April of this year, they came fifth in Xiamen in the four star on debut. Confirmation that first set score. They were third at the four star in Espino in Portugal. And they won the four star in Moscow in August. So, a successful outfit really in their short time together. This is their third top four appearance, their second appearance in a bronze medal match. They won that first one in Espino in Portugal, as we just mentioned. Summer Ross. There's uh, two other career wins to her name. And she used all her experience to help Hughes turn this one around. Paredes again. Paredes has really started this 
second set strongly. Yeah, nicely done. This is a really good start, strong start by the Canadians. And a timeout called by Summer Ross. Thought that might be coming. You mentioned her two other wins on the world to actually youth level. She's a junior world champion from Melania in Turkey in September 2010. And uh, a youth world champion from the uh, previous month in August. The youth world championship she won with Croson. The uh, junior world champs in Turkey she won with Ronik. And here, well, they are in the spot of bother. But it is the start of the second set, so time to turn this one around. Mal the call, but she couldn't get that. And America on the scoreboard. Side switch with Canada, 5-2 to the good. Yeah, good power from Pavan. Oh, that's brilliant. That's really good from Hughes. Athleticism. Diving away to her right hand side. Some are unable to control the spike. Net court serve from Sarah Hughes. Always nice to be on uh, one of those. The defensive team just have to pick themselves up. One of those things, what goes around comes around. Unlucky from Summer Ross. Makes the block and then it agonizingly comes back onto her side of the net. Just didn't have her hands far enough forward. Oh, 
Nope, long. Surf. First throw up stake from Canada, but they've still got a two point lead as they did at the first side switch. Little pokey from Hughes, and they are getting close at bit by bit here, the American pair. 7-8 now, they trail. So that was close to the net, but Mana Paredes with the pokey. Good gap from Hughes. Good dig from Mana Paredes. She goes to the pokey cross court. And Hughes rooted as she wants it. Sail over her head and land in unguarded sand behind her. Palpin goes to Hughes. Set by Summer, and Hughes goes cross court. Nice spike. Oh, that's a good swing. On the left arm from Pabon. Cross off the block of Pabon, but it was almost a net cord serve for. Imana Paredes. So, 9 10, two points away from technical timeout. And the Canadians will have that advantage at the technical timeout, but it'll either be a one point advantage or a three point advantage. May I compare just splitting? Imana Paredes going down the middle. Pavan with the serve into the net. Poor serve. And it is the technical timeout in set two. And Canada lead 11 10. Yeah. Yeah. Nicely set up in this second set. And the Canada. Canada will be looking just to try and apply some pressure to America because the Americans have burnt their time out. That was the real athleticism from Hughes a little earlier on. the ball with Sarah Hughes. America trailing by solitary point at 10-11 on the parade with a really well executed roll shot. to the net. Yeah. A 
serve. And it just opens up a four point lead once again. They had a similar lead at the start of the set. USA called a timeout. No timeout left for the USA, of course. So they're going to have to work this out on court. Yeah, nicely done. Canada now really in control. So side switch at twelve sixteen. Need a run of points here. She's given that far too much. Yep, nicely done. Cross court and finds the winner. So just three points away from the goal, uh, from the bronze medal. Excuse me. Yep. Yeah, nicely done. And a run of points coming. Uh, what well, the Americans will hope is not too late. The catch shot. Finds the target from Humana Paredes. Yeah, it was nicely done. Summer with the kill. Yeah, good blocking from Summer Ross. Set too close to the net. And timeout called by Canada. The American pair just making Pavan and Humana Paredes think about this. And they've 
decided that they need to have a sit down to discuss how to close this out in two. Just watch this set here. It's too close to the net. And it's well read by Summer Ross. He took the cross court defense. too much to be said more about just taking the sting out of uh, the American uh, game brings about two match points. Cross courts, one saved. to Hermana Paredes, Hermana Paredes with the roll shot, Hughes keeps it alive, another chance though for Canada here, Hermana Paredes, Summer gets her hands up, can she save a second, match point, Pavin does brilliantly well, Hermana Paredes can't get it over, they've saved a second, it's 20 all, brilliant play, and the crowd appreciate the efforts made, They've clawed back that four-point deficit from 14-18. The Americans, can they kick on? It was the third touch into the net, so a third match point for Canada. Oh, that looked very, very close. Very close on that line, just a little bit too far. So, three match points saved by the Americans. now have themselves a set point. Set one for USA. Chance here now for America to take us to a third. They've done it. That is brilliant from the American pair. They have turned this one around and now Canada with lots of questions to try and answer. All three match points gifted up. There is the winning set point. And Sarah Hughes with a little pokey over the pavin block. And they have turned this one around. Excellent work. Hughes and Ross win the second set 23-21. And just as it was in their first meeting in Xiamen uh, six months ago, we go to a third set. The Canadians came from a set down on that occasion. Is it the Americans' turn to come from a set down 
and take victory. Twice Canada had four point leads in that second set. More importantly, they had a four point lead at 18 14. So let's not forget, third set is a race to 15, no technical timeout, side switches every five points instead of seven. Oh, and it rolls along the net cord and drops. And the USA in front for the first time since the start of the first set. Once over is the call from Hughes and Summer Julie delivers. Well, the Canadians had a, a poor start in the third set. And against uh, Ross and Kleiman yesterday evening, they were 4 1 down. And a net touch by Humana Paredes, and they're 4 1 down against this American pair, and they call a timeout. Now they need to try and work their way back into this set, just as the Americans work their way back into the second. Just there on the way down, good spot. By the first referee. Change required for the USA, more of the same. Diagonal pokey makes it two four have and serving. through the attempted block of Summer Ross. Mala Paredes with the flight serve to Summer. She goes cross court, Himana Paredes makes the dig. Now can she find the finish? Yes, yeah, she can. Good work from Humana Paredes, a strong left arm. Yes. 
So, USA serving at 6 4. Summer with ball in hand. Rana Paredes finding her rhythm once again. Yep, nicely done. So Ross with the roll shot. Mano Paredes has missed that one. Call, but she hits the top of the net and the advantage goes back to the USA and it's a 9-5 game now for the United States of America Touch, I don't know, lifted ball, was, was it? 10-5. Have another look here. Back set. Good block, good reach from Pabin, but it's wide and America absolutely dominant right now. Right, everything coming off for America right now. The Canadian game has uh, just dropped off sadly. Good dig from Hughes, Mana Paredes, and the set too close to the net. It was 6-5 USA, and they have won seven straight points to surely wrap up the bronze medal here in Yangzhou. Could get from Hughes. Imana Paredes, and can you believe it? Summer Ross makes the block. And having saved three match points, the American pair now have nine match points. Just not happening for the Canadians. They were in control of this bronze medal match and at the first time of asking it is the USA that take bronze they have raced through the final set to take it by 15 points to five from 
6-5, they won nine unanswered points to wrap up the bronze medal. Huge disappointment for Pavan and Humana Paredes, but this bronze medal issue that they have continues. It is their sixth bronze medal match, and they have lost five of them. A brilliant performance at the back end of that match by the American pair of Summer Ross and Sarah Hughes. They saved three match points and 14 minutes after the first match point was saved, they have won the bronze medal. An excellent performance in the end from them. Huge delight as they win their second bronze medal match together having taken third place in Espino back in July. Final score then in this women's bronze medal match, Hughes and Ross, the United States have won it 16-21, 23-21, 15-5. A brilliant come from behind performance by the American pair. Well, the Canadians won their first encounter from a set down and now it is the Americans turn to come from a set down to win this one but a fantastic performance and the Canadians will be thinking where on earth did that go wrong three match points they had and they couldn't take either of them and we might just get some reaction now from our bronze medal winners I'm sure are absolutely delighted. Just your mentality when behind in the first bit. Yeah, Summer and I just shook off the, the first game and we knew we had to be a little bit more aggressive and that's exactly what we did and we never gave up on each other. Can you remark your performers uh, in this space? What? I'm sorry. Um, can you remark your performers in this space? Yeah, you know, it was really awesome. We're, we're excited and, you know, we're really happy we came back. And um, it was so great here. We loved all the fans. The tournament was amazing, so thank you. Yeah, thank you, Ying Zhao. We've had a great stay. We'll be back. <laughs> okay, congratulations again. Yeah, understandably delighted with that performance. But it was a really dogged performance to come back from 14-18 down to win that second set 23-21 then win the third set 15-5 so from 14-18 down they won 21 points to 7 between there and the end they really dominated the second half of that match for well, the last quarter really kind of to dominate the first three quarters but just couldn't get over the line An extraordinary comeback as we have a look at some of the highlights from a enthralling bronze medal encounter Canada absolutely dominant in the first well, set in a bit 21 16 they won the first set they were four love up they were 16-11 up, they were 18-14 up. It was oh, look for all the world. They were 12-17 to the good. But somehow have managed to lose it. The United States snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. Just one of those things they probably can't put their finger on right now and this is where it started to go wrong that was 18-14 and from that moment on it was all about the USA this is 21 all that brought up set point which was duly converted then into the deciding set at 4-2 USA just started to find their rhythm and they were just brilliant 
Rare point for Canada in that final set there. And here is the match point. An excellent performance from the United States for Summer Ross and Sarah Hughes. So it is the United States that have claimed the medal. They've come from a set down and saved three match points to win the bronze medal match against Canada. Congratulations to Summer Ross and Sarah Hughes. Thank you. 